so in this part we are going to learn how to work with tables right so basically a lot of times in many examples your data will be given in the form of tables maybe you are working on a data set in which you have a height and uh, it's a weight of the pokemon so there are, there would be n number of rows and there would be some certain columns and you want to process that kind of a data so the um, to uh, module that we are going to use for that is called pandas and in this video we will see how we can work with pandas to manage data such as excel sheets and csv files right so csv files are basically uh, your comma separated files if you want to uh, read the data which is given in a csv file we will use pandas for that purpose so let's see in this example how we can first create a csv file and then we will see how we can write a csv file so let's begin maybe you have some data let's say you have data about some pokemons and you have uh, let's say you have let's say you have some data about pikachu and let's say you know about some five attributes of that so i will say random dot random int and i'm going to generate some random integers in the range 1 to 100 about pikachu right? so there are let's say five integers which describe five properties of this pokemon pikachu and let's say there is some data about bulbasaur and you have some np dot random dot random int and let's say this lies in the range 50 to 150 and there are again some five and let's see what this data looks like okay this should be random and right if i print now pokemon's data so you can see it's a dictionary right so we have a dictionary which contains some numbers about pikachu and we can we have some numbers about bulbasaur or let's say you can say uh, this is uh, height of pokemon and let's say this is the weight of the pokemon and maybe we can add one more attribute power so we will effectively have data about five pokemons and suppose we know some attributes right so let's say pokemon height we have some pokemon weight and we have some pokemon power this is a simple dictionary in python as you have seen and let's say this power minimum power is 200 and maximum power is 2 and we should give a comma here and if i now print you can see this is a data but suppose you want to store this data in a excel sheet and see so for that we will use pandas right so i am going to import pandas as pd okay so you need to first install pandas using pip and then you can import it and in pandas there is a very special object which is called data frame i will say i have a data frame which is a pandas data frame and here i give the pokemon's data and let me print the data frame now you can see it looks like a good table right so you can see there is a table and this looks like an excel sheet we have rows we have columns and we also have column header right so this is called a call header so these are called headers right so we so header tells us what does a particular column denote so this column is for the power of pokemons right and so we have five pokemons and we have some some randomly generated data about them so this is pokemon height and this is pokemon weight okay, so this is how the data looks like and now the next thing is suppose i want to convert this into csv file right but before that let us see one more method and let's say df dot head this method gives you a better look of this data maybe you want to see only three rows so you can specify only show me only three rows about the pokemon 
df dot head will basically print your table in a better format and you can see these are the rows and these, these are the columns and if you want to see what are the column names you can say df dot columns so data frame dot columns gives you the list of column names present in that okay so now let us create a csv file csv stands for comma separated file So df which is our data frame and the method is called to csv and here we can say okay let us create a csv of our pokemon right so this and the name is let's say pokemon data dot c if i now go to my home directory and you can see few seconds ago we created one file which is pokemon data dot csv and this is how the csv looks like and so you have indexes in the first place then you have the column names followed by the values in that column right? so this is how you create a csv and this is about data frame and next step would be how to read a data frame so we have seen how to write a data frame okay, let's read a data frame and create an mpi okay. so suppose this file is already given to you and you want to read this csv file so when you are going to take part in kaggle challenges they are going to give you csv files and you need to process those csv files to get the data okay. so you you will say data frame is now pandas dot read csv so there are a lot of methods one of the method is read csv and here you give the file name so file name is pokemon data dot csv and if you want to see what it looks like so you can call df dot head okay so this is how the csv looks like there is a unnamed column and you have some pokemon here and in some cases you can also drop this column i do not want to drop this column so you can uh, use this property data frame dot drop and you can say drop this column right you want to remove a particular column okay so let us see how this method works columns equal to what so you can say columns equal to this unnamed column now you have only the useful columns with you and if you want to see the shape you will say df dot shape so you have five rows and you have four columns but this column i think is not useful so anyways we we will see how to handle this later on but you can definitely drop a particular column or a list of columns okay, so one thing that you can uh, do while creating a csv is and you, when you are creating a csv you can say i do not want the indexes so you can set index equal to if i reload my csv here mm, let me make this data frame again now you can see you do not have indexes so when you are going to load this again and now you see there are only three columns right so we do not need to drop this column because it does not exist and now you can see there are five rows and you have only three columns in your data so this is how you work with pandas and in the next part we will learn how to uh, work with a data set part 6 will be load and process the 
amnest data set. See you guys in the next part.